Hello guys, Crispy here and welcome back to another video. In this one, my friends, we're going to be testing the Ryzen 3 2200G APU. That's the quad-core with four threads, CPU plus Vega 8 integrated graphics in Dying Light 2. You can see right here in MSI Afterburner that we're running it with the latest AMD drivers available for it, Adrenaline 2020 22.2.1. You can also see the clock speeds of the iGPU here. I'm not overclocking it, by the way, just keeping it stock because a lot of people will actually run it at stock speeds and we're pairing it with 16 gigabytes of RAM, two of which are reserved for VRAM and I can't really change that in this HP BIOS by the way so I can't really set it to like four gigabytes of VRAM unfortunately. Also the RAM is dual channel 3200 megahertz and let's go through the settings. We're playing at the 1080p resolution right now with no upscaling of course we're going to test it out at lower resolutions and using FSR and over over on the advanced settings, I set everything to the minimum settings aside from this and the FOV and yeah, that's about it. Let's get into the game, shall we? Starting this off at 1080p might not be a very good idea now that I think of it, <laughs> but maybe it runs better than the 1030. Oh God. Oh no, it's pretty much the same thing. No, actually it's a little bit better. I think the 1030 was getting like single digits at 1080p using these settings. So uh, this, is, this is definitely better than that. I mean, uh, it's almost like the 3080 Ti at 8K high settings. It's, it's a little bit worse still than the 3080 Ti at 8K high. Uh, but you know what? This actually gives us a little bit of room for improvements, you know? So uh, we can lower the resolution still, we can lower or use some FSR, of course, uh, and it might become playable in just a little bit. Oh my god, okay, I... oof. I'm killing myself here. Yeah, this... literally, I'm literally killing myself here because of the the, the FPS. It's, it's not good for my head, you know? <laughs> but I do it for science, my friends. Also, RAM utilization is creeping up a little bit right there. Oh my god, oh my god, no, 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 we don't, we don't want this. I, uh, okay, yeah, it's, it's interesting that you can actually go to the subway. You know what, let's stop it there. You know, let's stop it there. This is clearly not a good experience. So let's try to make it a good experience here, shall we, my friends? Let's try it out using FSR on quality first. And we're also going to test it out using the linear thingy. Okay, 1080p, FSR quality. Everything is still the same over here on the lowest settings. I am using some sharpness here because it helps with FSR. I actually forgot to turn it on when I was testing the 1050Ti. And maybe that's was why it uh, looked terrible on that card using some FSR. So it looks considerably worse than uh, the 1080p resolution native, you know, uh, but at least we're getting like five-ish more FPS, maybe like 10 at times actually. Yeah, like 5 to 10 more frames per second, which is definitely a decent improvement. It makes me believe that maybe at 720p this might be playable, guys. Wow. It's actually impressive. All right, let's let's uh, let's play through a mission or something, you know? I, I kind of want to do that. Uh, all right. Oh, my gosh. I still, I'm still i still a noob when it comes to parkour, okay? I, I just basically stay in my room the entire day making videos. So that's it's normal that I'm not good at parkour, right? <laughs> also, if you overclock this uh, APU, especially the Vega 8 integrated graphics to like 1600 megahertz, it could be playable actually and reach 30 frames per second, which is super impressive, you know, using FSR. Wow, it's actually not too bad now that I've played for like three minutes at 15 frames per second. Uh, 20 something feels okay. It's, it's, it's still bad, of course, but it's not completely terrible and horrifying, right? It looks a bit soft, yes, but it's it's not too bad. And again, I actually tried to disable the anti-aliasing in the config files, but nothing really happened. It didn't apply anything for some reason. Don't know what's wrong with that. Um, but yeah, anyways, uh, the sun is going down. This is kind of bad, actually. I think this is the safe house, though, so it should be fine. It's still sub 20 FPS, but we got 25 FPS on average, which is not terrible. Let's use FSR on balanced now. And, um, 
Here we go, and oh boy, we're reaching 30 right now, guys. That's that's great, but it's still mostly below 30. I saw like some black thing right there flying. Maybe it was just applying something. It's it's starting to become a little bit playable. Not gonna lie, it could be worse. It could be a heck of a lot worse. It is doing a much better job than the GT 1030, that's for sure. I think it's because the 1030 is a PCI Express 4, uh, no, 3.0 times 4 GPU and this one is actually uh, times 16. So uh, it has a massive advantage. I actually tested 1030 using PCI Express uh, 2.0 times 4 and then PCI Express 3.0 times 4 and I found a big um, improvement by using 3.0 so it's not only in like the 6500 XT where that matters you know so just keep that in mind but anyways the Vega 8 integrated graphics on the 2200G will always be PCI Express 3.0 so you should not worry about that okay let's go Okay, all right, some parkour skills. Sometimes it gets 30 plus, which is pretty decent, but then goes down into the 20s. It's not terrible, you know, even though the frame time, if you look closely, it has some variation there, but I can't really feel that too much. It's probably because the FPS aren't really the best, you know, they're in the 20s, so it fluctuates a little bit there. I'm actually impressed so far with the performance of the 2200G in this one. In some games, the 1030 is faster, like in GTA 5, 1030 is much faster there. But in this one, this is surprisingly better than a dedicated GPU, with, with also with 2 gigabytes of GDDR5 VRAM. My 1030 is a GDDR5 model, it's not like it's the DDR4, you know? Hello! Going away! Goodbye! <laughs> what? What do you call me? There we go, get the heck out of here. I am gonna feed you to the zombies. They will be thankful to me. All right, have fun getting eaten, eaten. I just remembered the guy from Resident Evil. <laughs> oh, there's a weapon here, interesting. I'm gonna pick that up, yes please. All right, so lighting still looks pretty decent, right? Even on the lowest settings possible inside of the game, not going to config files. It still looks really nice, in my opinion. Okay. Oh my god, no, no, I'm gonna die! <sighs> right, with that... We are going to test FSR performance now. <laughs> I also want to see it using the linear built-in uh, uh, upscaler into the game, you know. Oh my god, we're getting 40s? Are you kidding me? Holy... That, that's, that's really good. That's really good. Did it say, wait until night? Night has fallen. Oh. Oh no, come on. Can I sleep again? Oh yes, thank god. <laughs> we're going out in the morning, alright? Ooh, that looks absolutely terrible using FSR performance. But overall, if you're playing on a, a smaller monitor, I'm using a 27-inch monitor, so it looks pretty bad and soft. Uh, but yeah, like a 22-inch or, or an 18-inch monitor using these settings, for example, would probably look okay. Let's go out, though, and see if we can actually get 30 plus. Uh, no. <laughs> so it's already dropping. But as long as it doesn't drop very much into the 20s, like the 25 or 24, I would say that this is a playable-ish experience. It's borderline playable, I guess. It's not too bad, right? Again, I wasn't really expecting this to be this good, honestly, guys. It, it's pretty terrible <laughs> the experience compared to other gpus higher end you know like a 1050 ti for example did a great job even at 1080p native resolution although i did overclock that card but these are kind of old integrated graphics you know and it, it's doing a really good job also cpu utilization is sometimes going up there uh. Okay, uh, so four cores and four threads are enough for 30-ish FPS, but probably not good enough for 60, unless it's a faster model, of course. Uh, but yeah, so most of the time the, the CPU utilization will actually be at around 50%, which is great to see. What is happening here? Please, let me in. What the heck? Oh boy, okay. Uh, what is this? Why doesn't this work? Oh gosh. 
Look for parts for... Oh, it's at night. Okay, I gotta go there at night. So we're not gonna do that. I, I don't want to get out of my bed at night, honestly, in this game. <laughs> uh, anyways, look at that. 27, 28. Still not perfect, but it it's not horrible. Remember that this is just a Ryzen 3 APU from a few years ago. It's pretty impressive what it can do. Yeah, the, the linear upscaler is not really that good, although it looks pretty okay compared to what we were seeing, which was performance FSR. So, of course, yeah, this looks better. It's, yeah, twenties, not very good. I'm just going to set it to linear performance now to see the difference there. And it's pretty blurry. It's a little bit less sharp than FSR, I would say, but... It actually is performing a little bit better as well. Look at that. We were dropping to 27 and 28 here. Yeah, we're getting a couple of more FPS using this upscaling uh, thingy. Uh, so it's not too bad. I guess they actually did a pretty all right implementation of their own upscaler. Interesting to see that actually. All right, so we're gonna go to the other one, which is almost 500 meters away. Ooh, some dark... Oh, boy, so many. All right, we're gonna go, guys. We're gonna go. I don't care. I don't care. Yeah, boy. I am good. Oh, I woke everybody up there. All right, what about here? Are there more of you? No? Yeah, it's super blurry sometimes. I guess it's a trade-off that you gotta make when playing with APUs. And again, if you're playing on a smaller monitor, this is not too bad, honestly, guys. I was just trying to help this guy. Oh, boy. Oh boy, stuttering a bit, as you can see. Yeah, I've also seen these stutters when fighting with higher-end specs anyways, so it's not really that big of a deal in my opinion. Uh, come on. Oh, slightly annoying though. Oh, hello there, sir. <laughs> How are you going? All right. It's actually so much fun to, to kill zombies in this game <laughs> and just explore the world. Yeah, I'm liking it, actually. Okay, 720p is now applied. Everything else is still the same over here, of course. I didn't change anything. And as you can see, we're now in the 20s. It's a little bit worse, of course. It's definitely, it's a lot worse, actually. We're getting like 10 less FPS, I, I guess. Um, I don't like this too much. Again, I wouldn't really play like this. I think the way to go is with FSR or the linear upscaling in this one, if you have this APU at least. Oh, it's here. All right, let's go. We got this. I'm gonna go there now. Come on. Nice. Oh, go up, go up. Good, good, good. Looking at the entire map from above, guys. Still getting 20s. At least it doesn't drop our FPS massively when you're rendering in the entire city, like some other games do. Um, all right, we're up here. What can we do now? What is this? What am I? Okay, all right. We got a, an achievement. Saint Chupanza. Now, how do I go back down? Now, how do I get back down? No, 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 it's not this way. God damn it. Oh, all right, that's enough of 720p anyways, right? <laughs> okay, at least we're now down here, so it, it actually worked. You know, my strategy of going down. Yeah, okay, anyways, it, it's mostly below 30 FPS at 720p. Let's use FSR on quality now. I think it applied properly. Yes, it did. Ugh, ugh. Oh my gosh, using FSR and quality at 720p looks so bad. I, I got a little bit used to the 720p resolution, but hey, at least we are above 30 frames. Hmm, let me know if this looks good in, in a smaller monitor though, because you lose a ton of detail. I'm gonna try to increase the sharpness a little bit here, by the way. I wish there was some FSR ultra quality in this one. You can actually utilize some programs, third-party programs to play using ultra quality FSR, by the way. But I am not doing that because I am lazy. <laughs> one of these days I gotta make a video about that, actually. Uh, but hey, look at this. This is not too bad now. It, the sharpness definitely improves something visually here, but the, de the detail is still not there, you know? It's just that the edges now are a little bit clearer. So, yeah, it, it, it helps. 
honestly, I, I'm not really sure what I choose to play this game with right now. Maybe I choose to play it like this because you do get 30 plus FPS at least most of the time. You know, a few stutters here and there, loading in new areas, uh, but it's not really terrible in terms of FPS. It's a bit terrible in terms of the visuals though, but I think I could live with this. If I had a smaller monitor, that's the big thing here. All right, so we're here. This is the, the area of the quest. And we need to find electric electrical parts and look for something military patrol. I, I, don't, I can't really see it because of the FPS. But uh, yeah, it's here. So please don't see me. Oh, God. Okay, okay this is just bad. We, we got we to gotta take care of all of these guys first. <laughs> Oh, and there are, there are some putrid things in the ground that, that kill me, I guess. This this right here, I, I don't even know what that is. Uh, all right. Anyways, it looks like diarrhea. The Taco Bell has that effect on people. <laughs> uh, killing every zombie. Oh, God. Uh, where's my weapon? Uh, can, I, can I use another weapon? All right. Thank you. This will do. Uh, it's much worse than the other one. I love the other one. All right, we got some electrical parts, parts here. Good. <laughs> yeah, it's it's, it's not bizarre. completely awful. I played many games some years ago at like uh, 640 by 480 resolution, and I I still enjoyed them a lot. So maybe this is playable for some people. I just really think that you need. A smaller monitor to actually enjoy it because 27 inches now i will say that that this is super impressive for a little apu it's an old apu it's not even the best from its generation it's actually almost the worst <laughs> it's a ryzen 3 after all yeah it's super damn impressive that it's able to play dying light 2 Bad graphics, yes, but at least it's 30 plus FPS all of the time. The 1030, for example, was far from playable. And it, 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 even at like 300p resolution or something of the likes, it was getting 20s and even lower than that at times. So, yeah, this compared to that is a much better and an actually playable experience. So, guys, thank you very much for watching. I'll leave you with this beautiful image right here. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next one. As always, love you all. Bye-bye.